a five string specialist that is north of the border in Horsefly, British Columbia. And this is a first ever in Acoustic Tuesday show history. And I thought, you know, what better way to kick off 2018 than with bringing, bringing a banjo on the show. So I wanna introduce you to Jason and Ferris Romero of the Romero Banjo Company in Horsefly, British Columbia. They make absolutely stunningly beautiful banjos. I'm talking 11 inch pots, 12 inch pots, 13 inch pots. They use uh, metal onlays, not inlays, they use inlays as well, but metal onlays and they just cultivate this beautiful aesthetic. These are custom, absolutely brilliantly made banjos that are absolutely stunning. In fact, not only are their banjos stunning, but their shop is really beautiful as well. It just, I just picture this amazing winterscape and just kind of a cabin in the middle of nowhere. And in fact, there's, there's a video to prove this thought. Uh, Fretboard Journal went out and filmed them at their shop in Horsefly, British Columbia. So here's a quick peek into the Romero banjo shop uh, just north of the border. My name is uh, Jason Romero and I'm uh, from Northern California which is where I started um, my banjo company. Well, I started playing banjo when I was around 20, I think. I was living in Chico, California at the time, and I went into a, went into a pub one night, and there was a guy playing banjo in an Irish band. He was playing five-string, finger-picking, but Irish music. I was just, what does that sound like? I think most people, when they first hear a banjo live, you know, for some people it was hearing, you know, Foggy Mountain Breakdown album here in Earl Scruggs and, and I had heard that but I didn't it didn't really it didn't really take and then when I saw this live I kind of freaked out a little bit and uh, got a banjo and just inhaled the stuff it was playing all the time my name is Ferris Romero and I was born here in Horsefly born and raised I'm the fifth generation of my family to be born here Jason doesn't stop thinking about banjos ever. He's always thinking about new banjo things, so he's constantly coming up with new ideas, and I think that it, in the long run, that's gonna be the thing that identifies him in the builder community, in the luthier, in the global community larger, because he's always thinking about new ideas, new tone rings, new design ideas, new rim ideas. This is our, um, this is our dowel stick. This is um, one of the first designs I came up with, um, traditionally what um, was in open back banjos was, was a wooden dowel stick. And I tried to marry that wooden dowel stick, that look, that traditional look, with another attachment system. Basically this is attaching the neck to the rim. And you gotta be able to do that somehow. So the, there's, uh, Gibson came up with a way to um, use two lag bolts that went into the heel of the banjo. But it didn't really look great because it's basically two pieces of steel that we come across. And so I, I tried to take uh, the functionality of that, which is using two lag bolts in the heel here, but the look of, of what a traditional dowel stick would be. Custom screws that screw into the wood, you know, about an inch and a half, and the inside of that's tapped with machine threads. Each end has it. The next gonna have these lag bolts in the heel. So we're gonna screw onto that. So that's basically how I connect my neck to the rims. So that was a look into Jason and Ferris's shop in Horsefly, British Columbia. Now, I don't necessarily ever just lightly skim the surface on anything I'm looking up. And upon further research, meaning I stayed up late at night for hours on their website, I just discovered that they have newly kind of gone into the resonator guitar market. Now, I don't know if this was in the within the last year, but it, it, I should say it's new to me and I wanted to make sure you knew about it as guitar geeks as well. They're starting to make absolutely gorgeous resonator guitars. Absolutely beautiful. They've taken the same stunning aesthetic, stunning aesthetic from their banjos and brought it to the resonator guitar platform. These are wood bodied, biscuit cone, bluesy sounding, barky resonator guitars. And I can come up with more descriptors, but maybe I should actually let you listen to them. So 
Fun fact, Tony Furtado, honorary member of the Tony's Acoustic Challenge family, actually did the demos for the Romero Resonator guitars, which you're gonna hear right now. the maple-bodied uh, Romero Resonator guitar. Now, again, upon further research, it looks like the, the, the base price for a Resonator guitar, now they do them in uh, a maple body and a Claro walnut body, and it looks like it's right around $4,500. Don't quote me on that. Make sure to contact them if you have any interest. Uh, so that's the kind of the base starting starting price, and then of course there's customizations beyond that. And if you do any sort of uh, um, research on their site, you'll see exactly what they're capable of, and, and it really seems like the sky's the limit. Uh, so if you wish to contact Jason or Ferris, please do so. You can find a link to their website at AcousticTuesdayShow.com in the episode 19 show notes.